Hello dear friends myself Sunil Sonigra and today in the subject of mechanical drafting we will consider a chapter titled as intersection and penetration of solids and surfaces in this chapter we will discuss the solution of the problems based on intersection of prism pyramid cylinder and cone the today's uh, discussion considers the objectives that to understand the concept of intersection and penetration of solids and surfaces and to solve the examples based on intersection of prism cylinder and cone the first example in the data is given like this a hexagonal prism of 30 mm sides resting on hp on its hexagonal base having two sides parallel to hp a horizontal cylinder diameter 50 mm axis parallel to hp and vp bisects the axis of prism draw front view top view and a side view showing curves of intersection so in this problem a hexagonal prism is given to us it is resting on hp on its hexagonal face on its hexagonal base in such a way that two sides are parallel to xy line that is parallel to hp so in top view it would be xy line and the penetrating solid is a cylinder given diameter 50 mm and axis parallel to both the planes hp and vp it bisects the axis of prism so first let we think steps for thinking this is the diag diagram which shows the given condition here you can see a hexagonal prism is there which is standing on its hexagonal base and two sides are parallel to xy line these are the two sides one is this and second is this one both these sides are parallel to this vertical plane that is xy line and this is a penetrating cylinder this cylinder cylinder penetrates through this hexagonal prism so this would be the side view of the given intersection and we have to draw its rest two views front view and top view so in this problem first we think the given solid it's a hexagonal prism 35 mm sides then the second two sides parallel to xy line it is given in the data draw top view of prism that is hexagon so that would be the first step to draw hexagon below xy line in such a way that two sides are parallel to xy line then project and draw front view and side view from this given top view or drawn hexagon in the top view draw rest two views front view and side view by taking projections a horizontal cylinder axis bisects the axis of prism it is given so in side view draw the cylinder which is represented by a circle of given diameter and after that draw side view of cylinder and take projections and draw rest two views and after that finding the points of intersection we can draw the curve of intersection of the given intersectional problem so let we draw this problem <coughs> on the drawing sheet so first we have to draw a hexagonal prism that is hexagon which is given in the data so this is first we have to draw a hexagon of side length that is given as 35 mm in such a way that two sides should be parallel to xy line like this this is the hexagon which is having two sides parallel to xy line so it shows the top view of hexagonal prism right after drawing this top view <coughs> transfer the points to meter line to rest two views so this is the meter line which is drawn at an angle of 45 degree with this xy line to the right side of the top view because we have to draw it's a side view as well <coughs> this line is xy line which represents intersection of hp and vp <coughs> now to draw the side view of this hexagon prism from here we can take projection means draw horizontal lines from here like this and what and horizontal lines from this end as well and horizontal lines from this middle one like this and when it cuts this 
meter line from that draw vertical line so it's front view it's a side view would be like this one line is here another line would be here projection from this end and another line would be somewhere here this is the side view of given hexagonal prism this one and this is the base this one right this corner these two corners align with this one so here two lines would be there we can name the end points say this is uh, the names let we give later on to avoid some confusion now after drawing this side view let we draw its front view by taking projections from this top view from here draw straight vertical lines from this end so here it would be up to this end at the middle these two lines are throughout this this one and this edge as both these edges this one and this one are visible to us hence it is fully drawn from upper face to lower face and this is the upper face front view and this is the front view of lower hexagonal face so th we'll, now we have drawn three views of this hexagonal prism now we draw two views of rest two views of this cylinder circle that we have drawn as per given dimension and this is the front view from projection from side view we can draw this front view of this cylinder as well length of the cylinder and diameter of cylinder are given to us and from here from this end by taking projection to xy line and horizontal line from that xy line we can draw the top view of this cylinder as well like this this is the top view of the cylinder this one and this one and in this intermediate portion here hexagonal prism is there so edges would not be visible hence it is represented by the dotted lines this this full line another end of the circular face in the cylinder here also dotted line would be there like this which represents the side edge of this cylinder so we have drawn top view of this intersection side view now in front view what do you think about the points of intersection where the points will intersect and how to find out the location of those points so for that let me start from here this end whenever we have to draw we have to find out points of intersection we should start from side view in side view we can take any line or any point on this periphery of this cylinder suppose this generator i have drawn over the periphery of this circle means divide this circle into eight equal parts or 16 equal parts n number of equal parts after that let me pick up one point one point is here say point number 1 name that point as point number 1 it is on the periphery of this cylinder now how to find out position of this point number 1 in top view and in front view so for that from point number 1 draw straight vertical line that is projection line from point number 1 up to meter line so it will come over here it will cut the meter line at this point from that draw straight horizontal line like this and this horizontal line will cut this hexagonal prism at two point one point is here and another point is here one point is here another point is here now pick up these two points these two are the top view of this point number 1 so name here point number 1 and here also point number point number 1 now from this point we have to draw straight vertical line right project this point in front view from this point also draw straight vertical line so point number 1 this that is front view of this point will be on this vertical line as well as horizontal line from point 1 so from point 1 draw a horizontal line 
like this and intersection of this vertical line and this horizontal line will be one point that is this point one point is here another point is here so these two are the points of intersection in front view so we have picked up two points similarly for other points also we can find out the points of intersection suppose here is point number two here is point number two so from this point draw a straight vertical line like this it will cut meter line at this point from that draw straight horizontal line it will cut hexagon at this point and from this point draw straight vertical line like this so so it will cut horizontal line from this and vertical line from this both will intersect at this point so name this point mark here one point and mark here one point as well so how to find out this point from here from this point from here draw straight vertical line and from this point draw straight horizontal line both will cut at this point so this is point number two that we have located now what's about point number three point number three is here so from point number three draw straight vertical line horizontal line it will be again at point number one and one and now from point number, point number three draw straight horizontal line that is projection line from point number three like this so the intersection of horizontal line from point number three and vertical line from this point is this point and this is the point so we have picked up another point now what's about this point number four so this is point number four from point number four draw straight vertical line it will be on the axis itself horizontal line it will cut over here so here point number four is there and another point number four would be at this end now from this point draw straight vertical line right and from this point draw straight horizontal line both will cut at this point at this end so here is another one point similarly from here also one point would be here similarly for on this side opposite side one point would be here another point would be here so now join all these points with a smooth curve so that would appear like this and this smooth curve represents intersection of these two solids curve of intersection of hexagonal prism and a cylinder right these two sides are not cut so this corner and this corner are fully visible hence it is drawn by full lines now what's about these edges of the cylinder in front view these edges will be inside this hexagonal prism so not visible hence we represent those two edges with the dotted lines like this and here and on this side also a dotted line would be there which represents the age hidden age of the cylinder like this <coughs> so in this problem this is the solution of the problem of given data you can see here this is the solution a hexagonal prism is there which is standing on its base hexagonal base and it is intersected by a cylinder of diameter 35 mm we can insert the dimension here as well the diameter of the cylinder and the side length of this hexagonal prism like this here the diameter of the cylinder is 50 mm so we have to insert the dimension like this as it's a diameter we have to write phi to represent it's a diameter so phi 50 that is the true method to insert the dimensions 550 similarly this is hexagon so we should write hex hex small uh, in capital letter the side length of hexagon is known to us that is 35 millimeter so insert this dimension like this full arrow at the ends hex 3 5 hexagon of 35 mm side length whenever you draw the solution of this problem do not forget to draw these dotted lines these dotted lines this and this also the axis of both the solids this pink colored line shows the axis of the cylinder this shows the axis of cylinder and this vertical line shows 
द एक्सिस ऑफ एक्सागोनल प्रिजम एंड दिस इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन यू कैन राइट द स्केल वन जेम वन इन दिस प्रॉब्लम एज वेल अफकोर्स इट इज नॉट कंपलसरी बिकॉज वन जेम वन इज बाई डिफॉल्ट स्कैल यू कैन राइट द नेम ऑफ व्यू फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू एंड साइड व्यू एट रिस्पेक्टिव पोजिशन नाउ सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम The data is given like this: a triangular prism of 50 mm sides and 80 mm length is standing on its base with a rectangular face parallel to VP. It is penetrated by another triangular prism of base 35 mm and length 80 mm. Draw projections showing lines of intersection. If two axes bisect each other and the rectangular face of each pri- of each prism is away from the observer in pa- is parallel to vp so think about the given data steps for thinking standing solid is a triangular prism side length 50 mm so first we have to draw a triangle in the uh, which shows the top view of the given solid below xy line side length is 50 mm now how to draw the triangle so it is given it is also given in the data one side is parallel to xy line and nearer to xy line so we have to draw triangle in such a way that its one side is parallel to xy line and it is nearer to xy line as well that is given data then draw top view front view and after that by taking projection side view of given solid that is triangular prism then penetrating solid here given is also a triangular prism side length 35 mm sides draw 35 mm sides triangle in side view because it's a penetrating solid and it also the axis of both the solids bisects each other so the from side view of the uh, penetrating solid we will start so after that after drawing three views of this standing solid in the side view of this standing solid we will draw the side view of this 35 mm sides triangle and after that we will take projection and points of intersection so let we draw this problem 